The strength in Retina of Ophthalmology Limited is having three fellowship trained surgeons in one location. How we do things now is completely different than how we had done things even as recently as 10, 15, 20 years ago. Uh, now instead of dealing with inevitably blinding diseases, there's a lot we can do to try to maintain sight and even recover some sight. The most common retinal diseases we see are macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, diseases of the vitreous like a macular pucker or vitreomacular traction, and then retinal tears or detachments. From what we do in the clinic to what we do in the operating room, has gone leaps and bounds past what we expected even at this point. In the operating room, surgery, instrumentation has become much smaller. In the clinic, we have more technology available to us now than we ever did before, and that ranges to everything from medications to procedures such as lasers that we could never do before. One of the really fun things about retina is that it's always evolving. Because we have such a variety of diseases and because those diseases are so sight-threatening, we often have advances on the horizon. There's multiple trials going on for the dry type of macular degeneration, for example. The injections that we have are actually fairly recent and have really revolutionized what we can do for patients in terms of keeping them seeing and hopefully seeing well for a lot longer. When patients come in and they have a problem, it's, it's not an easy time to be here. <laughs> it's something that's affecting your vision. It's something that could potentially affect your life if things don't go the way that you want it to go. And when you come in the door here, we wanna make sure that from the front desk all the way through, through the technicians, through the people you work with in billing to the physician you're gonna see, it's important that you're comfortable through all aspects of that. 